Hi, welcome to my new video. Music production on Linux is far superior to Windows. And it's not just packages being open source or having a beta latency. The reasons for that vary greatly. And in this video I'm gonna cover topics like performance, stability, then you know availability and being able to modify the system for your specific needs. Let's go! When you are setting up your system for music production or music production among other purposes like gaming for example, having some optimizations in regards of being optimized for gaming for example, for 3D rendering etc. is already a good starting point because a system optimized for gaming is optimized to 80% let's just say for music production. One point would be talking about the different kind of kernels. In Linux you have the access to multiple kinds of kernels. You have the LTS kernel, you have the hardened kernel, the stable kernel and the Zen kernel. To describe them easily, the Zen kernel is the kernel optimized for video editing, gaming, also the perform for performance orientation. Which is also the one you might be interested the most. Of course, especially a modern day hardware is not a must have, but if you want to scratch out every bit of granny of performance out of your system, having a Zen kernel, for example, might aid you greatly. And again, this is already quite different to how Windows operating system function. Because on Windows you have one version. I mean, yes, you have the home version and the pro version, but these are not different kind of versions. These are the same thing with some extra functionalities locked behind or available to you depending on the version and I'm not going to cover that now. Or the type of kernel you utilize is already important. Then we also need to talk about real-time privileges. What are these? Because even if you have set up your computer for music production or for performance, the programs need to have proper access to your system to function properly with the highest performance. And you do this via the real-time privileges. Again, another way in which you can modify your system and grant the auditors, audio plugins, more access to your computer hardware. Which is among other topics one of the reasons why on Linux you have far lower latency than you would have on Windows. Another reason would be that independently if you're working inside a distrobox container for example or natively on the system you install packages from repositories okay so obvious what am i trying to get here what am i trying to tell you with that because if you install all the plugins from repositories and not from you know some dubious third-party websites for example the likelihood that you will get infected sinks dramatically which is maybe not the top concern of you, gamer, music producers, etc. But it should be. And yes, I'm well aware that there are some programs which are, have no Linux support, but you can utilize them via Wine Yarbridge, about which I've made a video in the description, you can find it. This is a different topic, obviously, because if there's no way around it, then you can do nothing about it. Then in the choice of Linux distros, you have you know, many different kind of optimizations made for you, but you can modify them further on. Fedora based systems, for example, which grant you some good amount of stability while still providing you new technologies, for example, are among any other reasons why having a performance oriented system on them would be a great idea. But it does not need to be a Fedora based system on Ubuntu Studio, for example, if you're comfortable with it. It's your own choice to make. And this is another point that there's not one universal system forced upon you and you need to make do with what you get, but you can pick and choose from the get go and then later on modify. And again, this might be a scary process for some of you because, oh my God, the terminal, but there are some documentations setting up real time privileges. You can find either in my YouTube playlist or on the different distro you're utilizing in some step-by-step -step tutorials. And everything you really need to do is copy-paste everything. 
So it's just, you know, copy paste from A to B and that's everything you need to do, which is also a great way of getting to know your own system. Then having a far lower latency. Linux is open source. I know I kind of mention it way too often, but which means is that if there should be some, you know, badly written code lines in a DAW, in our audio plugin, etc., the likelihood someone will find it is way higher than it would be on a closed source project like Windows. Even though talking about performance stability on Windows is a yeah, headache inducing topic. Linux com consumes on average less CPU power than Windows does. Also memory, this is a different topic. And which means is especially on music production, which is performance latency oriented and you work with multiple audio effects simultaneously in serial and in parallel having you know, the best CPU performance is uh, essential because you know less CPU spikes etc. On Linux there are no random background processes or at least you can monitor them without any issues not like in Windows where they are they are at more and more background services like AI Copilot etc. throttling down your performance step by step which is on Linux not an issue. And also a great topic would be, you know, the pronunciation of open source audio effects, sound libraries, etc. Because once you get sucked into Linux environment, you will stumble across many different open source and also free <laughs> would be more. That's more important for you music producers. I know to have free software, drum synthesizers, guitar effects, plugins, etc. That what's your experience of uh, creating music on Linux. Write it down in the description. What kind of hurdles did you have? What's your setup? Which distro you are using, etc. Write them down in the comment section. I really want to know. Keep working because there's still much to do and go read Berserk Manga.